Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Tomb Raider Remastered. I think this is the 10th level. Let me double check. City of Kamun. We are in now and yes, level 10. Just started it. Previous episode, we completed level nine, finding all the secret items by ourselves without any help, so happy with that. And we seem to have landed in Egypt or something. This seems to be quite a big jump. Let's do it like so. By the way, there's also a ledge down below, which takes us to the lever over there let's check out what it does <coughs> all right I have no idea it's really weird sometimes the game gives you like a visual of what something opens up other times it does not. What did it do? Did it open up? I have no clue. How are we supposed to get onto the platform? Do we just, maybe we just jump. I think maybe that platform got raised. <coughs> Let's check it out. No, still raised. All right, I will leave it like it is now. Oh, fuck me. to see if I can spot the difference. That could be a door over there. Oh, wrong button. Yeah. Or it is just a bright texture, but no, that's a door. That one really didn't do anything, at least not as far as I see. <laughs> Just there for fun. Um, Ah, there's also a lever over there, or that's the same one. So we didn't even need it to shimmy along there. We could have just do it like so. Hit. 
Right, it's not a secret room. At least I don't hear any... Audio cue. Ah, wait, now I understand. We build a bridge. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. It's so annoying. Do you want to... Uh, this was, by the way, my mistake. I pressed forward before jump. Should have done it the other way around. For a standing jump. Accidental back jump, super annoying. <laughs> but so far, so good. Shit. Man, he takes quite a lot of bullets. Mother sucker. Nice. We see a statue and a new area. <coughs> right, and a zombie to the right. Coming around the corner? No. There he is. Come on, Lara, do your aiming. He actually acts more like an animal than a humanoid. Enemies here are way more bullet punchy, it seems, compared to earlier levels. Of course, I'm only basing that on two enemies. Anyways, we have some what looks to be like buttons. We have a block over there. We have a gate to the left. We have enough, enough to do. Also, let's keep an eye open for any secret areas hidden in plain sight. We need three secret areas and 24 pickups. All right, let's get this one out of the way. <laughs> All 
Right, we have what seems to be a golden gate. Again, very nice texture. If you ask me, it really looks golden. Just like in the original, it really, this is the first time I've seen like a golden <coughs> colored gates. Also in the classical graphics. So they did a good job of capturing that uniqueness. This also, yeah, I would say it looks like a door. I'm not sure. That is a way down. Nothing much here. I do find the ground texture a little, yeah, of course, it's totally in keeping with the original. But to me, it doesn't really look like sand. It looks more like a leopard <coughs> skin. All right, that could be a secret area. Once we slide down that ramp, we make, and then we have to immediately do, um, or maybe we don't even need to. I wanted to say, do a side flip. But let's see. Because there could be stuff hidden over there. No, there are. We don't need to do the side flip because we can already check it out now. There is nothing there. Something behind that gate over there. I think it's just a medipack. Nothing here. Can we climb up onto the head? Nope. Holy shit, check it out. Um, l little polygons those models had back in the day. Oh shit, didn't want to do that. So annoying. <coughs> Very nice modern reinterpretation. Right, an item over there. I'm not sure whether there are piranhas or any fish. I think in other Tomb Raiders there are piranhas at one point. That has a Y on it. No. That one has horizontal lines. This one has, I don't know, some weird shape, a non-descript shape. That one has some kind of a key symbol. And there is an item on top, I know. <laughs> Medipack.
we already checked underwater fully, right? Yes. Right, I'm pretty stuck actually. Actually. Again, level design is so well done. It really, to me, it feels Dark Soul esque. with how it sometimes loops back into itself and it's, re it's just really interesting level design. Not repetitive, challenging, just so much more fun than modern games that are dumbed down. Oh, fuck me. I forgot about the water. squares is this four squares we will not be able I think <coughs> to make that we do have of course a block over there yeah maybe that's the way let's use that block as launch pads <laughs> ah, not really possible cannot move it further than this one I guess <coughs> but maybe this already does it no this will not do it how many squares is that? Three squares, but it's too high. Will not work. Is there something in the shrubbery over there? I'm not sure. We're in. All right, in this game, Lara cannot crawl yet. So we have to take that into consideration. Can we climb that fence? Sure, looks like the game hints towards that. Let's check it out. <coughs> no, it cannot. So then what do we need to do?
cannot climb it. Interesting. Interesting. I'm pretty sure we couldn't climb through those windows over there. Not really windows, those holes. So then what do we do? God damn it. They're so well at screwing with you. Even if you think you are very methodical and is the case you will find yourself stuck which is actually pretty amazing I find so was this only here to get that meta pack on top of the ledge. Can we, can't we move this aside? No. The only reason to get up here is to get the pack over there. I find that a bit weird. Oh, wrong button. <gasps> oh my god, it's so annoying. Pretty sure I was holding, ah, uh, no, actually not. Yes, I was holding the loop key. And she still went forward and fell off the ledge. Um, yeah. Do find this pillar a little bit suspicious, but yeah, we need items to interact with those four things down below we cannot do anything here we cannot climb the gate so yeah I am stuck already. The very first area almost of the level. That's crazy. What am I missing here? An underwater lever or something? I think this tower will, once we interact with those buttons, that it will maybe lower into the ground or something. No. I'm not even gonna try the... I wanted to try all the... Um, buttons there, but yeah, it will not do anything. 
So I must be missing something obvious here. Or maybe not obvious, maybe just well hidden. That's crazy. Being stuck here. I was thinking maybe a diagonal jump over there, but it will not work. Maybe that isn't a door, but I already tried to interact with it. Maybe it's some kind of symbols. No, you cannot do anything here. I am for sure not going to look up very first area of the game it's just crazy ah there it looks like a different texture you have all kinds of symbols and then over there you have like what appears to be random stone texture <coughs> like this one I find this one a little bit suspicious, but yeah, you're not sure. It could just be artistic design. <laughs> God damn it, I'm stuck at the very first level uh, area. What am I missing here? there be a pressure plate here if I push this one inwards no I don't think you can even push it inwards no because it's not level uh, floored then I am certain we cannot push the block inwards further than what it already was initially all right um, this is really annoying all right we have some steps here or it gets a little bit higher up but 
that was actually totally <coughs> not what I wanted to do. I don't think you can move blocks while underwater. Maybe we need to shoot something through these windows. No, they're too high. Fuck me. Alright, maybe... That's it, probably. We can do a diagonal jump. Over the fence. No, it's too far. Let's try it anyways. Nothing to lose, more or less. Oh, oh, fuck my life, man. Fuck my life. Oh, I hate it so much, so much, that's the, def it defaults to fucking load screen. You use save so much more often than loading. Fuck this game, sorry, I really had it with that retarded game design. Why would you default to load? It makes zero sense. And now I'm also, I, I don't know anymore whether there were items somewhere in this level. So now, instead of just continuing with where I was, I have to again check out everything to make sure I didn't... Oh, fuck my life. I really had it with this crap it happens way too often fuck it big time are you kidding me you can say yes it's your own fault you pressed the wrong button indeed i did but you cannot always and if you're like in the middle of a game session you're thinking about solutions and stuff you're not always oh fuck fuck this shit oh and again twice in a row accidental backstep backstep i pressed a direction i wanted to turn lara around not do a backstep anyways um ah there it is all right, at least I found the, uh, the solution. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, th when you save, when you are in the middle of a game. Oh, 
fuck me. There are indeed all kinds of items that I have to re-pick up. Then you are not, you cannot expect the player to always be super focused on the menu, especially if you have to access the menu very often, to always consciously think, oh yeah, this is the load screen, this is not the save screen. You just want to somehow people's minds, or at least my mind, it's conditioned, like, all right, let's do a quick, quick save. So what we bump into the menu, we do two clicks and bam, we save the game. But no, that's often what you subconsciously do. But then this game says, nope, that was the loading screen. See you later. And then like a little mistake like this, it, it just costs five minutes. And this happens so often, it's super duper annoying. Now I'm not even fully convinced whether I picked everything up. I'm pretty convinced, but that's the problem. It takes time to double check everything. And you don't want to, especially if you're only here because of a stupid safe load uh, mistake. Then you don't want to again go meticulously through each and every nook and cranny. So yeah, sorry for the ranting, but it's pretty damn annoying. I really hope they fix that in the patch. Oh, and again, fuck that <coughs> accidental. I press right to turn her around and she does a backstab. <coughs> if you Backstep, if you don't 100% put it drop, that drop into uh, the southern position, like straight down the analog stick, if you are either one millimeter to, um, or no, that's not what I mean. If, if you do a, uh, but it's also, by the way, doing a backstep and then accidentally doing a side flip. It works both ways. But if you want to turn her around like so, if you don't do that, that drop right or left, but you go like two millimeter to the right and two millimeter down, there's a chance, a big good chance she does a back step instead of turning around. And that's super annoying because often you're on a little platform and that means you are Uh, falling off a ledge or off the platform, which could then very well mean dying, <coughs> having to redo stuff if you didn't save. So, yeah, just find it super duper annoying, those kind of things. Anyways, it did help me with somehow, not even sure. I went there. I wanted to, uh, my plan was to do a jump from that pillar over the uh, fence there. <coughs> I was already doubting whether that works. Maybe it works still, but I, no, I cannot Im imagine. But at least we have a way forward now. Because we found an alternative way. Hmm, I didn't even read what the key said. Annoying. Let's first check it out. Ground left. Oh shit! <coughs> God 
damn it. They're pretty damn uh, lethal. And they're also pretty bullet spongy, these Black Panthers. So, I am not fighting that one from the ground. Where are you? There you are. Where did he go? It's pretty annoying. He takes a long detour over there. Let's do some maintenance in the meantime. Bullet Sponge. Alright, nothing much here, but these are areas where there could be. Alright, we have some plateaus on the top. Where there could be. A secret area, I would say. <coughs> Especially like there is like one statue missing here. Three on the other side, two here. Because, oh fuck me, I wanted to jump. I know it from another level where There really was something behind some statues. A secret area that was really, um, yeah. could get behind them. Oh my god, so annoying. So, I'm not even sure what I'm doing now, but it's just messing about a little bit near these statues to make sure. Here, this is weird. This one is fully to the wall. And the other one, ah, uh, they are as well. It's just the difference in graphics. Modern versus classical. Alright, nothing much here. <laughs> At least not to be so far I saw. <coughs> Fuck me again. That went actually relatively good for my doing. By the way, let's see what's in this room. A door. And is that another door? I have no idea. Alright, switches. They look like gates. on the other side ah there's a key over there no i thought this was one of those yeah we are on the other side of the fence so very nice really pretty well hidden the uh, entrance towards here pretty fun how they did that 
also fun to have like quite a challenge right at the start of the level Get him? I have no idea. This looks a bit Half Life uh, Area 51 to me. Ah, the original looks totally different. <coughs> um, or not totally different, but no blue sky. All right, do we want to drop down here? All right, guys, I have to do a very quick sanitary stop. And maybe also, I think this episode is already quite long, um, or not that long, but long enough to end the episode here and we'll continue immediately after in the next one. Hope you enjoyed, hope to see you there. And for the meantime, never forget, always do keep on gaming, Flicker.